US actress Olivia Munn has revealed she was diagnosed with breast cancer last year and has had four operations in the past 10 months. The 43-year-old newsroom star announced her surgeries had included a double mastectomy. Olivia's health update comes 3 days after she attended Oscars 2024 with her partner comedian John Mulaney. Olivia said she found out about the cancer after testing for 90 different cancer genes and going for a mammogram. Although those tests were negative, her doctor worked out her breast cancer risk assessment score which later led to further tests including a biopsy which showed she had luminal B cancer in both breasts. She had a double mastectomy 30 days after the biopsy and has had four surgeries in the past 10 months. Olivia Munn has advised everyone to calculate their breast cancer risk assessment score. But do you know how do we do it? And what exactly causes breast cancer? Let's understand from an expert. Risk factors for breast cancer include non-modifiable or modifiable risk factors. And non-modifiable risk factors are things we cannot change. For example, age. Increasing age increases your risk of breast cancer. Gender. Born, being born female puts you at a higher risk. Uh, strong family history or having a known genetic mutation like BRCA1 or BRCA2 puts you at a higher risk. Having your period start at an early age and then continuing for longer puts you at a higher risk. Other things like receiving radiation in childhood for a lymphoma puts you at a higher risk and certain types of benign breast diseases also put you at a higher risk along with uh, some ethnicities are also at a higher risk of breast cancer. The other thing is modifiable. So things we can change and uh, this includes uh, at what age you have your first baby. So having a baby earlier than the age of 30 reduces your risk. Moving on to signs and symptoms. The most common uh, presentation or symptom of breast cancer is a painless hard lump in the breast. The other ways that breast cancer can present is skin changes like a redness over the skin or an orange peel like appearance of the skin. Sometimes uh, there can also be a wound on the skin which doesn't heal with normal treatment. There can also be a swelling of the entire breast in breast cancer. The other thing there can be are nipple changes, pulling in of the nipple or change in direction of the nipple or a nipple discharge which could be clear or blood stained. Very rarely breast cancer can also present with just a lump in the armpit with nothing in the breast. So it's very important to know these symptoms to know what to look out for and catch any cancers early. Breastfeeding that baby reduces your risk. Uh, taking breaks in your oral contraceptive pills or reducing intake of hormone replacement therapy reduces your risk. The other thing is having your weight in the normal range at the normal BMI reduces your risk of breast cancer. Avoiding alcohol reduces your risk. Exercising regularly reduces your risk. So these are the some uh, some of the things that we can do to reduce our risk of breast cancer. So from now on, make sure you get your tests done at regular intervals. We hope you stay fit and healthy. Do share this information with your family and friends and spread awareness. And do subscribe to Shosha for everything health and lifestyle.